Hello everyone, my name is Khaled, and welcome again to our fourth episode of Oxygen Unincluded. So, as uh, those of you who watched the last video can remember that uh, we created uh, our little bit of a farm in order to grow our uh, bristle blossom. So we got lights in it, make sure that we got the proper uh, illumination to make sure that the plants grow properly. Got the farm station to double the speed that the plants will grow. And also, uh, yeah, that was pretty much uh, the extent of our uh, session last time. Uh, in between sessions, what I've done <coughs> is I've took all the water that was located in this area and I push it back all the way into that big uh, container. Also, in constructed a pump, installed a valve, as well as a little uh, liquid vent in that little uh, inside sump so that uh, whenever the pump runs, I will slight overflow this area, ensuring that the pitcher pump does have uh, water for the dupes to use for uh, farming as well as research. So in order to do so, what I had to do is construct layers by, by layers, all those tiles here, in order for the water to make its way all the way to this under area. Then I enclosed it and I re-deconstructed uh, all of those uh, tiles in order to uh, make our way down. We also uh, got ready for our uh, plan for today, which would be in order to uh, construct uh, electricity so that uh, we can uh, discontinue our manual generator and use coal in order to power our colony. So I made this room out of uh, insulated tiles in order to help uh, keeping the uh, all the heat that's going to be generated by the generator inside. And uh, one thing that I've noticed is that uh, since the uh, the map that we play on, uh, we are not in the actual middle, we already found the uh, right edge of the map. So it's a uh, construct here. You can see it's part of the neutronium, which is uh, something that we cannot dig. So this is the edge of the map. That's as far as it's gonna go on the on the right side. So it's uh, one less area that we have to uh, to dig out. And also uh, on this side here, I uh, found out that we have a cool steam vent uh, pumping out uh, cool steam. Well, cool is way to talk. It's 110 degrees. So that's a nice uh, renewable source of uh, water. So that's. Uh, as uh, the colony grow, we'll tap into this and uh, try to make a good use of it. <clears throat> so, as we mentioned, today the plan is to uh, construct uh, electricity. So, this here is going to be our power plant. So, the first thing first, we're going to need a power control station. So, once we get uh, dupe with uh, the proper skill, you'll be able to increase the efficiency of uh, all the uh, generators located in this room. So for now, it won't be a big deal, but it gives us a 50% increase. So the coal generator, which gives us a 600, will be able to give us 900 uh, kilowatts. So overall, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good deal. So we'll need the coal generator as well. Uh, as we mentioned uh, before, I want to use smart batteries in order to pre prevent the uh, constant uh, running of the coal generator, which would be just uh, burning coal away, uh, generating carbon dioxide and heat, uh, even if uh, nothing on the base is required. So we're going to use the automation wire which, to connect the generator to the battery. And then we're going to be uh, connecting them with actual uh, power blocks, uh, sorry, uh, power cables. So we tap, we find a little bit of iron uh, on this this area here. So I took the iron in order to uh, construct uh, the power cables. So we're going to increase the priority of this so that things happen. And uh, we're going to select a new research. I completed a few research too over the last few uh, last few cycles in order to uh, get things going. Uh, 
got the rock crusher which I've built which allowed me to make the uh, material required for the smart battery I went with the uh, heavy watt wire because uh, that's what gonna be required for our uh, our base to uh, bring power through it and uh, I think I got the wrenching as well because uh, we're gonna need a wave to renew our coal uh, so we're gonna use the the wrenching setup to do so uh, so as far as uh, the next research we're gonna be doing I think um, I'm gonna go with the water sieve so it's gonna plot those two here and that will allow us to get a renewable way of uh, water and uh, having a fully automated uh, toilets something that doesn't require our dupes to, to clean out also we've uh, got a little morb here that uh, usually spawn when you don't clean your toilet fast enough so they're harmless and they just uh, run around and whenever they jump as you can see they just generate a little bit of polluted oxygen so the point uh, of that is we can use a deodorizer in order to clean the uh, uh, clean the polluted oxygen and uh, get a uh, nice little uh, renewable way of oxygen some uh, some streamers some other people will use more farms in order to generate uh, oxygen for their old base but uh, I feel like it's kind of too easy and uh, doesn't have a challenge to it it's just a matter of uh, filling up that uh, that toilet with 25 30 morbs let them run around generate polluted oxygen and then you just uh, pump out through a room full of the uh, deodorizer and you get your oxygen so there's not much involved into it so it's not as fun I think so I'm gonna leave him here just for now but that's definitely not gonna be uh, our way to generate uh, our oxygen in the base. I'm gonna try to get the, the electrolyzer, which is uh, use uh, water. Uh, so we're gonna need a, a water source, use the water, and transform it into oxygen. So <clears throat> they're almost done already with the, the base, so that's pretty good. And uh, also, I can start to, to deconstruct this area here. So we can have an extra area uh, to work around. We also forgot a, a cook yesterday. I uh, forgot who it became. Who it was. Uh, Bert became a cook. Got a skill point at some point. So I give him uh, the ability to use the electric grill. Um, and you here. You're gonna keep going with construct. No, uh, yeah, super hard digging. So the last skill of a super hard digging allows us to dig through the abyss light, which is uh, an extremely hard material which doesn't really have uh, a purpose. None that I have seen anyway. Uh, it used to be a material you could use for construction, and it was uh, it was amazing at the uh, insulating for heat but uh, throughout the last few patches that got removed so now uh, I don't think even the hatches will eat it so I really know I'm not sure what to do with it I think you can create insulation tiles towards the end of my towards the end of the game but uh, we'll see that when whenever we get there so a new uh, blueprint um uh, gonna go with pokey shell I think so they don't do much but uh, as they grow they drop uh, and they drop their skin we can use their skin to get lime and we use then that lime in order to create steel which is one of the very high-end material we can get so there we go, so we got our uh, coal generator, which is uh, fully constructed. The battery here uh, is set up, so that's my usual settings that I put at. So when 
it reach 95%, it will send a stop signal. So the coal generator will stop on its own. So that way it doesn't require any coal, doesn't generate heat or anything. And then it's just a battery that's going to be powering up uh, our system. And when the power of the battery gets to below 5%, then it's going to start the generator again. Then the generator is going to be able to uh, power up uh, our power, uh, our plant. So since we're using heavy watt wire, because it can uh, carry lots of uh, lots of uh, kilowatts, uh, 20 to be exact. So it'd be more than enough to power most of our base until uh, way later. But the problem with that one is that it cannot go through uh, tiles, so you need to create the uh, the joint plate, which allows you to move your cable uh, from one side to, to the other of the uh, of your rooms. So they're gonna be building uh, the cable, and here what I want, I want uh, I want a power transformer. So we're gonna hook it up as well. So purpose of the transformer is that it will prevent for uh, it pretty much uh, splits your power grid into a smarter section, ensuring that they do not uh, get overcurrent in there, and uh, that usually could damage your uh, your wires and uh, cause problems throughout your base as. Uh, if this wire breaks, well, I lose power to my light, so my farm won't work. So it helps reduce the uh, the wear on your system. So I'm just, I'm so we are feeding it a heavy watt wire, so that will it can take 20, but will never output more than one uh, 1,000 kilowatts. So we're gonna be uh, bringing the wires, and we're gonna oops, wait, wait. Okay. So we're going to connect it to our system, so then the battery and the coal generator is going to power everything. And uh, once that's done, so we're going to increase the priority to make it happen right away. Once that's done, we'll be able to dismantle our battery and the manual generator. And uh, this will be the only thing uh, powering our base from now on until we get another source of energy. So now that we all have water, so we got more room to start to build stuff. Also, uh, by digging down, we allow our carbon dioxide to uh, lower, get slower down our base. So everywhere where our dupes normally goes and work, well, it's all oxygen. A little bit of polluted one for now, but uh, I'm gonna put deodorizer a little bit uh, throughout the base, and we're gonna it's gonna sort itself out also got puffs that runs around and they eat the uh, polluted oxygen and they uh, drop slime which we can in turn use that one for uh, gerating algae so come on we just need those two here <clears throat> so as the farm as the uh, bristle blossom uh, grew up we found more seeds so the dupes slowly build their way and pretty much everything here is uh, how can I say it's, uh, every farm tile is being used so that's uh, really good it's gonna generate lots of food um, one thing that I don't think I've done so now that uh, we got a decent uh, food production of our bristle blossom I want to stop them to uh, eat the bristle berries. I want them to use the cooked version of it. So I'm going to disable everyone from eating that. And uh, we could also do the same thing with the meal lice. Uh, even though, yeah, I'll leave it there for now. But we also have lettuce, uh, which we can uh, merge with other uh, ingredients to make, uh, I think you can make hamburgers and uh, mushroom wraps with them. And they're really good on morale. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah. So now by disabling it from everyone, so nobody's gonna eat the raw fruits. It's gonna need to be cooked before, because I put uh, 
forever amount. So every time they have enough bristle berries, which will have 23,000 kilocalories, so they're gonna be uh, frying them. Which it also increases the amount of calories we get. So it's a uh, it's a nice way increase morale, increase the amount of calories we're uh, getting through the base. So cooking is a really important job. I'm not sure why she is not cooking. Uh, those are our priorities. Oh. Huh. So yes, so she's... I don't want you to tidy, I want you to cook. So I change a few priorities as well. Um, make sure that uh, Nikolai goes out and do all the digging. As well as a little bit of the building. Especially when he ends up... Uh, digging and building the tiles, so I want him to start digging, get the material, build the tile right away. So that's why I increased those two priorities. Uh, we got Nisbet, which is our research uh, person, so she'll be doing all the research and whenever there's no research queued, she'll go and uh, operate machinery. So that's what she's doing right now, she's on manual generator, charging up the battery. Uh, that will keep her inside the base, so when we expand greatly, well, she won't be running around away from her research station, because really that's where we want her to be. And, uh, well, as we can see, I just increase uh, birds cooking, so that as she goes and uh, cook everything. So now that we found uh, our first bristle brary, it showed up on the consumable chart. So I want everyone to get it. So everyone going to have uh, increased morale. As you can see, Nisbet's at 11, Nikolai's at 12. So we got way more morale than what they actually require by, uh, for the amount of skill points they have. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to finish this level here. And here we're going to start our first Atch Farm. So those little things here are also pretty harmless. So they run around, they eat whatever is on the floor. They're like Their list of uh, items that they can eat is massive. So realistically, pretty much anything. And they give us coal in exchange. So I'm going to feed them sandstone, which I have tons and tons. And in turn, they're going to give me uh, coal, which I'll be able to burn in coal generator. And why are you not building this? Oh, I'm missing iron. Well, that's unfortunate. I got some here, so... Let's uh, create a priority to seven. So they can build here, and then they're gonna get this iron here. And we'll be able to get our power. Uh, so we're done with our research. Um, so next thing, we're gonna go and finish our ventilation. There, so, so that's done, so they'll be able to dig here. Um, so for wrench, so we'll need a drop off. So, uh, somewhere for... So whenever they run around and uh, catch uh, one of the hatch, they'll be able to bring it down here. I'll also need a feeder to make the place look nice and tidy. So the animal or the hatch will go and get their feed as they, as they require. And to make sure that they're really happy and uh, give us lots of eggs, I get a grooming station. So, purpose of the grooming station. So, whenever we get a, a rancher, he'll come down and uh, pet our uh, all the the hatch, make them happy, increase the amount of eggs they're gonna give us. So we're gonna have more hatches in turn. It's a, an easy way to get uh, to increase the amount of. Uh, the population of hatch we have. Uh, we're limited in the amount of hatch we can put per room. I think it's one hatch per eight square. Um, 
unsure about that one, but we'll know uh, soon enough. As soon as they start uh, populating, eventually they'll get an alarm that says uh, that they are overcrowded. So when they reach that stage, they stop laying eggs. So you know at that point that it's time to grab one. Either uh, send it to the barbecue or uh, open up another uh, ranching station. So the battery is connected to our system. So we can now safely d destroy these two here. And now our coal generator is the only one that's going to be powering the rest of the system. So we don't have to lose uh, time running on generator, so it's going to increase the overall efficiency of our of our base. The only thing is that ever so often they're going to have to come down and put the coal inside the generator. And that's uh, it's not a terrible thing. So I'm going to build a storage bin so we can uh, pool all our coal here. And it's going to make it uh, a lot easier for everyone. So whenever they come down to fix the generator, the storage bin full of coal will be there already. So I'm going to remove coal from those here. So now all the coal is on the ground and then I'll be able to uh, put it in here whenever that's done. So crater drop off, I want patch and ashlings. So you can select which type of animal you want to be uh, brought in here. Don't have their skill yet in order to get someone to uh, be able to uh, raggle our uh, our hatch, but whenever that happens, uh, they'll start bringing them on. <coughs> so. We can start deconstructing more here and uh, getting ready to have more more room. I don't want to purse or pierce into the chlorine pocket yet because it's going to be uh, floating up and it's going to start f filling the uh, the air and I'm going to have to uh, mess around try to filter it out. So for now, I think these two uh, levels that should be here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work uh, without opening this up until I have a better use for chlorine. I'm gonna try to use it uh, to kill all the germs that's gonna be generated when I pierce into here, but that's gonna be for uh, another day. It's gonna, it requires a little bit of logistics. Because all the slime, as you can see, you got the 500,000 slime long germs. So that gets stuck into your base, into your atmosphere, and it gets uh, everyone sick. And uh, it's really annoying. The best way is to merge your slime with uh, some uh, chlorine. The chlorine is really good at uh, destroying slime, uh, slime lung. So by mixing the two, you'll be able to get. Uh, a safe way for us to go in and uh, pool the polluted water together, get a hold of the pakus here in order to get the little paku farm going, and uh, so we can start eating uh, fish on top of uh, on top of bristle blossom. Uh, joya seeds. So that's just a little cactus that we'll be able to uh, plant here and there to make the uh, area look better. So speaking of which, we might as well do it. So like this. So I'm gonna put hanging plants. I'm gonna put the joy seeds here. It's gonna make this area look better. Our decor right now is pretty terrible. Pretty much everywhere except here because of the light. There's also a lot of uh, debris on the floor, so we're gonna have to find a way to. Uh, to clean this up, it's gonna make everyone uh, a lot happier. So I think I'm gonna do this right here. I'm gonna use that for a little storage area. So I can uh, pull 
this one here. There are all the rooms that are fully built. So I'm gonna get rid of all the uh, the debris throughout it. So in order that to control that, I'm gonna select the sweep only option, and I'm gonna select all. So everything that's I'm gonna use uh, with the sweep option, which is uh, right here. So they're gonna pick up all of that equipment, all of that, those items, and they're gonna uh, pull it in those here because they're gonna be uh, sweep only. So they won't go on their own and pick up items that I don't really care where they're located uh, to put them in there as well. Clear the water basin as well. And uh, this here. So, if we can see right now, the battery is the one outputting power. Got uh, still a little bit of juice in it. As soon as it's gonna reach, uh, I guess, uh, 1.5, if the coal generator kicks back in, brings power up to the battery until she uh, she's full, and then the generator is gonna stop again. There we go. So, got automated electricity. So, eventually, I'm gonna put the Noto sweeper here which was going to take care of uh, automatically putting coal into the uh, generator. Uh, but that's probably another mm, four or five episodes away, I would say. It requires a lot of skills into our, uh, for our dupes in order to be able to construct the auto sweeper. So we're going to deal with that a little later. Also, we got a lot of ocean. We found the ice biome in the bottom. So I'm going to be able to tap into that in order to uh, cool down our base, uh, cool down here. I'm sure the temperature is going to start showing already. Like you can already see it's uh, 30 something degrees in here versus the 24, 25, 20 throughout the rest of the base. So we're going to want to bring uh, polluted water or salt water and use it as, a, as our cooling medium. Uh, freeze point minus seven. So, and I think this here has a yeah, it's minus twenty. So, polluted water is going to be our best uh, cooling medium, as uh, we can put it can get a lot colder before it starts to freeze. And because uh, whenever it's freeze, if it's inside your pipe, it damages your pipe, and then the polluted water starts to uh, pour from the pipe throughout your base. There's polluted water everywhere, put germs everywhere. Something that ideally we don't want. I'm gonna leave those door open so that our little hatch is not stuck here. And we're gonna let him heat. Oops. So I'm gonna say that he can heat uh, sandstone. Because we got lots of that. So we're gonna fill up uh, this with sandstone, and then whenever he's done, or whenever he's hungry, he'll be able to heat from the feeder, and uh, he's gonna poop uh, coal. It's about once a day, and gives us half of the amount that he eats. There's a few varieties of the of the hatches, uh, depending on the way your base is going. You can have uh, one that eats uh, organics material and gives you coal, have one that eats extra only rocks and give you coal. There's also another one that will eat uh, metal and will refine it for you. So it's a really easy way to get uh, ore in the beginning. There we go. So you just got just ate sandstone and just gave us a little bit of coal. So that coal is going to be swiped out and be put in here. There we go. And I'm gonna increase the priority just a little bit so that they fill up this storage bin before they fill out any other one. And uh, here we're gonna put our joy seeds here. Oops, why didn't that work? Yeah, it worked. Wow. I don't know what I did wrong there. 
Anyway, so we're gonna plant this. That's gonna be... Uh, there we go. So that should increase our decor quite a bit. And uh, I'm gonna increase the priority of the sweep here. So that they clear this room before any other. Because they spend a lot of time in, the, uh, in bed every day. So it's going to increase the amount of uh, overall decor that they see. But I think uh, this is going to be a good place uh, to stop for today. So just a quick recap what we did. We automated, not automated, but we got the coal generator going today. Make sure that we got the power supply to our base. Uh, without the use of uh, the manual generator that was located here. Uh, we're in the process of getting a bunch of new storage for uh, us to uh, clear up the room. And we got a little wrench uh, going up, even though we don't have anyone that can work it yet. So, the next plant, uh, the next plant is going to be keep expanding and uh, probably start constructing probably over here some sort of uh, airlock for us to go in and start dig into the uh, uh, the swamp biome and get rid of all that slime and put the polluted water everywhere uh, to good use. So I hope you enjoy uh, this video just as much as I enjoy uh, making them. So if you, uh, if you find them interesting, drop me a comment, tell me what uh, you would like to see more. If uh, I messed up on something, if I said something wrong, uh, feel free to correct me and uh, pass the word to your friends. It's, uh, it's always nice to see that the people are starting to follow me and uh, just shows me that the people like what I do. So uh, you guys have a good one and I'll see you in the next episode.